So, this is a hall that will be uh, very, very interesting to you modders out there. This is Hall C of the Malaysia Auto Show and it houses all the modified cars that you can think of. So, let's do a very quick walk around or maybe not so quick just to have a look at the, uh, at the uh, cars that are on display here. Name Jeep came from. Um, the most popular theory is that it's a slurring of the uh, the uh, alphabet's GP for general purpose, and uh, so GP 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 became Jeep. Um, another popular theory it's uh, from the Popeye cartoon. Uh, there was this little uh, character in there called Jeep. And he would run here, run there, go here, go there, do anything, do anything, anywhere. And so, yeah, a lot of people believe that the name Jeep came from that character. This is still one of the most popular Land Cruisers ever. If I'm not mistaken, this is a BJ10. I could be wrong. But a Land Cruiser is a Land Cruiser and you don't need to say anything else. I remember an ad for the Land Cruiser where it was a shot of this car, well not this actual car, but something like this. It was at the end of a long pier and facing it was the, was the ocean. And the tagline read, admittedly there are some places that a land cruiser cannot cross. How cool is that? So yeah, back to the modified cars. Here's a Waja. and a Honda Accord This looks like a very heavily modified Vira and a E36 Coupe with a Japanese heart So let's cut across Surprisingly, this hall is still not very uh, packed. Again, maybe it's because it's a working day today. But expected to be thronged with people over the weekend. So get here early if you want to see these cars. Let's go check out the one that caught my eye that's gonna make me ooh and ah. It's a nice E60 M5 here. And even Gojira. And another Gojira. But the one that caught my eye at the corner of my eye just now. This. what's next to it to me these are the two most epic JDM's ever the Supra and the A86 
the Supra. You see, the thing is though, in my opinion, in my humble opinion, the Supra does not need all this. It really doesn't. It just has to look original. And it's perfect. One of the most beautifully proportioned Japanese sports cars ever. So all these embellishments, personal choice, personal taste. No disrespect to anybody who did this. But a Supra does not need makeup. Here's one that's uh, almost close to original, but not quite. I would love to see an original Supra. So hey, Sean Yu, I might be calling you soon. And even a Volvo, check that out. That's an S60R. Let me just give you an over, overhead view of the, uh, the number of cars here. Really, really epic. a Camaro an M6 as well with a huge flat body kit be able to see it because it's camouflaged. Absolutely epic is that. Even our boys in blue. 
blue are interested in the 8086. suspension for sure if not it would not be able to get over that little hump there <laughs> Very impressive. Well done, everybody who presented your cars today. Well done. Huge congratulations and well done from me. Wow, really. You guys have impressed me greatly. Well done, well done. Very nice. Well worth a visit to this hall, just opposite Hall A, right outside, 50 feet away. Make sure you come by. Do not miss it. There's some amazing metal here. So yeah, one last pan around. Drop by folks, you won't regret it. Right, see ya.